Okay. Testing, hello. Okay. Let's start. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this afternoon, let us begin with the prayer. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiriti Sancti. Amen. So our fellow H&I members and everyone, here now is the prayer for the protection for Hans Inclusion PH. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue, a repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Filipinas. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that we hold. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and he may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands inclusion Filipinas to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false with accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong timings. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. Saint Pedro Alonso, pray for us. Saint Claire of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and our friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict. Pope St. East the Tenth and Pope St. John Paul the Second, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone. All organizations and all the people who finally work with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in the conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in inclusion. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in, in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God the Father Almighty, 
creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into heaven. On the third day, he rose again from the dead, and his kingdom will, not, will never end. And he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In nomine Patris et Fili Spiriti Santi. Amen. The, the wounds inflicted upon you due to COVID-19. This is Ang mga pananaw at opinion ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pagunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to One Inclusion Live Weekend, Saturday edition. Today is Saturday, April 10, 2021. I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi. And the reason why we're going to start early today for our One Inclusion Live Weekend, Saturday edition is because we need to meet to give way for Best Buddies Benil later at 5 p.m. And Later, there's something special at 7 p.m. after the Best Bodies Vinyl event. We are broadcasting simultaneously on the new Inclu Radio Facebook page and the YouTube channel of Hansen Inclusion. We will begin our show with our daily verse for today. From 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 18. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. We will begin our topic proper in just a moment and we will be back after these commercials. Now this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, welcome back to One Inclusion Live Weekend. This afternoon, we will discuss World Autism Awareness Day, or what we call as World Autism Acceptance Day. The World Autism Awareness Day, or the World Autism Acceptance Day, is an internationally recognized day on April 2 every year, encouraging member states of the United Nations to take measures to raise awareness about people with autistic spectrum disorders, including autism and Asperger syndrome throughout the world. It was designated by the United Nations General Assembly Resolution ARES 62139. World Autism Awareness Day was passed in Council on November 1, 2007, and it adopted on December 18, 2007. It was proposed by the United Nations representative from Qatar, Her Highness, Shekia Mulzab bin Nasser al Misned, the consort of His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa al Thani, the Emir of Qatar, and supported by all member states. What are the four components of the World Autism Acceptance Day? The original resolution had four main components. The establishment of the second day of April as the World Autism Awareness Day, beginning 2008. Invitation to member states and other relevant organizations to the United Nations or the international societal system, including non-governmental organizations in the private sector, to create initiatives to raise public awareness of autism. Encourages member states to raise awareness of autism on all levels in society. Ask the UN Secretary General to deliver this message to member states and all other UN organizations. The essence of this event is that the United Nations General Assembly unanimously declared April 2 as the World Autism Awareness Day to highlight the need to help improve the quality of life of those with autism so they can lead full and meaningful lives as an integral part of society. 
The Color Blues Association to Autism Originating with the Autism Advocacy Association, known as Autism Speaks. Their Lightened Up Blue campaign calls for people to wear blue to promote autism awareness. The Center for Inclusive Education of Benilde Manila, Learning Support Case Manager and Faculty Advisor of Best Buddies Benilde, Martin Romero, along with the Research and Advocacy Head of the Center for Inclusive Education, Jeremiah Adriano, tackled autism and its misconceptions. Meanwhile, my fellow real estate management student and a member of Best Buddies Benilde, Christopher Alejandro Sebastian Kiran Fanega discussed the N, the R word project and its pledge for Benilgen students to be more sensitive towards individuals with autism and other related disabilities. So, my experience is that when I joined Best Buddies Benilde last September 2018, it was held under the administration of then uh, the former chapter leader, head, and president. Tracy or Tracy Tricia and Men Tracy Men sorry it's Tracy Men Tracy Mendoza and my other members Nina Calderon Gabby Cruz Santos uh, we also have I encountered that part for the first time and I'm still a member still under the leadership of the current president Joella Laurito Clarissa Gonzalez Genevieve Gutierrez. We also have Bobby Anonas and also my fellow classmate in real estate management, Panega, Kiran, and to my other to my fellow Best Buddies members, especially Best Buddies Philippines, led by the current executive director, uh, Michelle Aventajado. And one of the staff is the daughter of Michelle, Gia Aventajado. And how did Best Buddies uh, Philippines celebrated the World Autism Acceptance Day? It's done through the NDR Word event, other the World Autism Awareness Day celebrations, and of course, to to have a pledge for inclusive community to be more sensitive towards people with autism and other related disabilities. What are the six ways to support the Autism Awareness Month? We should start with a story. An engaging storybook can help kids feel empathy with all kinds of characters, including those with autism. Some great titles include My Brother Charlie, written by Holly Robinson's Holly Robinson Pete, her daughter Ryan Elizabeth Pete. In the book, we learn about a 10-year-old Charlie and his autism through the eyes of his loving sister. A friend like Simon by Kate Gain not follows the story of kids in the mainstream school befriending a new student with autism. Their friend like me by Jennifer Elder is about an eight-year-old boy with Asperger's who introduces young leaders to his heroes in math, science, and history. We should show our support. You and your kids and the teens throughout the world can join tens of thousands of people wearing blue to celebrate the World Autism Acceptance Day. It's a simple way to promote awareness of the millions of individuals and families affected by autism. Then show your support to all your friends on social media by sharing your photos with the hashtag Light It Up Blue. Crafty ideas. Do you know that the symbol of autism is a puzzle piece? It's easy to explain to your children, just like, just like each puzzle piece is different. Each person is different, including kids with autism, and that's a good thing. Celebrate this message with crafts using an old jigsaw puzzle that you will no longer use. Your kids can take these solid colors, then include them to cardstock and creative designs. Add a positive message inside each card and give to someone you know affected by autism, including caregivers. Other older kids can glue four or five painted puzzle pieces together and add a bar paint on back to make a wearable piece of art that shows support. And this can also be a great conversation start. Make a play date. When a child who might be sensitive to loud noises really want to have a play date, it's easy to assume the answer is no, but that may not be the case. Why not approach the parent of an autistic child you know and ask them? Kids with autism can have challenges but also great gifts as well, like knowing lots about dinosaurs, insects, math, etc. So try to find a common interest with your child beforehand and plan an activity or two around it. It can be as simple as giving both children new sticker books 
featuring those beloved dinosaurs or insects, or it might mean providing a building set both kids can use together. Remember, sisters and brothers, the siblings of a child with autism can sometimes miss out on everyday outings we take for granted. Since many children with autism dislike bright lights, loud noises, and strange surrounds, families with an autistic child may stick close to home. If you're planning a trip to an amusement park, circus, or even a big mall, invite one of these same things to join you. And you could, your Audi could be just the break they need. Just connect. Just simply showing that you're open and interested is a great step toward making a family affected by autism feel more accepted. You might discuss if you're planning to participate in any local autism month events and ask how you can get involved. It can be something as simple as making puzzle shaped cookies or a fundraiser or participating in a walk. When we practice empathy and appreciation for differences, everyone benefits. In connection to the World Autism Awareness Month, how did we celebrate it here in the Philippines? Okay, in the Philippines, we celebrate this important day about autism. In connection to this, uh, this is from a previous apartment. It's the National Autism Consciousness Week. In pursuant to the proclamation number 711 in the series of 1996, all the PWD organizations throughout the countries that joins in the National Observance of the National Autism Consciousness Week, held every third week of January of each year. Everyone is encouraged to develop awareness of the problems of autistic persons and promote a supportive environment to enable them to live with dignity and to function independently and contribute productivity to society. So based on this proclamation, there is a growing incidence of autism. More people should be aware of this disability. The Philippine government should develop awareness of the problems of autistic persons and to promote a supportive environment among communities. The growing number of autistic persons has spawned the need for early diagnosis, therapy, and education intervention. The, the government recognizes the need to provide greater attention and assistance to the DEP, DOH, DEPED, DSWD, and CHED. To look how uh, into how they can meaningfully support community-based approaches toward providing early diagnosis, therapy, and education intervention to persons with autism. So, January it was on January night every year, or the third week of January is celebrated as the National Autism Consciousness Week. DOH, DepEd, ESWD, CHED, and the DILG should serve as the national focal point for the commemoration of this event. The purpose of this is to initiate awareness on activities about autism and its effects. The participation and the cooperation of the NGOs and the private sector are secure. So, autism is a condition that is related to the brain development that impacts how a person perceives and socializes with others. This includes all the Asperger syndrome, childhood disintegrative disorder, and an unspecified form of development disorder. There is no cure. Treatment can, early treatment can make a big difference in the lives of many people. It is caused by genetics like the Rett syndrome or the Fragile X syndrome, environmental factors, are to explore whether factors such as viral infections, medications, or complications during pregnancy or air pollutants. The number of children diagnosed with autism is rising, or that's up below 30, rising above 13 fold or so. And it's not clear whether this is due to better detection or reporting to the reading increase of the number of cases. This may include their sex, the child's sex. Boys are more likely to develop autism than girls. Family history, other disorders, the preterm babies, and the parents' ages. This can lead to the problems in school with successful learning, problems at work, 
inability to live independently, isolation in a social manner, family stress, and being bullied. The symptoms are um, lack of reduced eye contact, lack of response, and also low functioning to high functioning behavior, and also difficulty of learning. Their signs are social communication, like a child with autism may have problems with social interaction by failing to respond, this is cuddling and holding, poor eye contact, doesn't delay speech, and can start a conversation or keep one going. Speaks like a robot, likes speech or sing song voice with an abnormal tone, repeats words or phrases verbatim, doesn't appear to understand simple questions or directions, doesn't express emotions or feelings, and appears unaware of others' feelings. Doesn't point at or bring objects to share interest. He appropriately approaches a social interaction by being passive, aggressive, or disruptive. Difficulty recognizing nonverbal cues. Patterns of behavior like repetitive movements or farm activities such as self-harm, specific develop specific routines. Problems with coordination and is fascinated by the details of an object. He's sensitive to light, sound, or touch, doesn't engage in imitative or make any play. Think aids on an object or activity with abnormal intensity or focus and has specific good preferences. As they, meet, as they become mature, children with autism become more engaged with others and show fewer disturbances in behavior. Usually, those with the least severe problems eventually may lead normal or near normal lives. Others, however, continue to have difficulty with language or social skills, and the teen years can bring worse behavioral and emotional problems. When you can see a doctor, Many develop their own pace. Before two years of age, child delayed development is involved. And if you're concerned your child or you suspect that your child is having autism, discuss the concerns with the doctor. The signs are doesn't respond with a smile, doesn't mimic sounds, doesn't babble or cue, doesn't gesture, say single words, play make leave, two word phrases, and loses language skills at any age. So one of the greatest controversies is that if there is a vaccine or a cure, avoiding childhood vaccinations can place your child and others in danger and lead to serious diseases including pertussis, measles, or mumps. There's no way to prevent autism, but early diagnosis and intervention is the most helpful and can improve behavior, skills, and language development. Intervention is helpful at any age, and though children don't usually don't have your autism spectrum disorder symptoms, they may learn to function well. In summary, the World Autism Awareness Day is an internationally recognized day on April 2 each year, encouraging member states of the United Nations to take measures to raise awareness about people with autistic spectrum disorders, including autism and Asperger syndrome throughout the world. In April 2, the world turned blue in honor of the World Autism Acceptance Day. It's all part of Light It Up Blue, a campaign spearheaded by the organization Autism Speaks that aims to foster understanding and acceptance for those with autism. Autism spectrum disorder is a condition related to brain development that impacts how a person perceives and socializes with others, causing problems in social interaction and communication. The disorder also includes limited and repetitive patterns of behavior. The term spectrum in autism spectrum disorder refers to the wide range of symptoms and severity. The National Autism Consciousness Week is observed every third week of January by the virtue of Proclamation Number no. 711 signed on January 4, 1996 by the former President of the Republic of the Philippines, Fidel Valdez Ramos. Autism Spectrum Disorder is a lifelong neurological disorder typically appearing in late infancy or early childhood. It is a developmental disability characterized by social and communication deficits that impede optimal functioning. According to a famous PWD organization in Camuning, Quezon City called Autism Society Philippines, ASP, at least 1.2 million Filipinos have been diagnosed with autism. In celebration of the in celebration of the national World Autism Awareness Month, let us now say together the pledges related to this event. 
First is the isang pangako oath in English and Filipino and the stop the R word oath of Special Olympics Philippines in English and Filipino. So without further ado, let us now recite the isang pangako oath and the Special Olympics pledge of, the, of stopping the R word. Isang pangako oath. Ako ay nangangakong kikilos para mahinto ang maling paggamit ng otismo bilang kutya o katatawanan sa salita at sa gawa. Isusulong ko ang tunay na pagtanggap, pagkalinga at pagbibigay halaga sa mga taong may kapansanan sa tulong ng may kapal. I made a promise to act to stop the use of autism as a joke or insult in word and in deed. I will work to advance the genuine acceptance, accommodation, and appreciation of Filipinos with disabilities. I pledge and support the elimination of the derogatory use of the R word from everyday speech and promote the acceptance and inclusion of people with intellectual disabilities. Ako ay nangangako at sumusuporta sa pagsugpo ng mga mapanginsulto at hindi angkop na salita sa pang-araw-araw na pananalita at itinataguyod ang pagtanggap at pagsasama sa mga taong may intelektual na kapansana. And I have the time for the announcements part of the show. We have products for sale at the Hands and Inclusion online shop. We have the Hands and Inclusion t-shirts. So the white colored Hands and Inclusion stickers, uh, sorry, sorry, the Hands and Inclusion t-shirts. The small size is 430 pesos, medium is 440 pesos, large is 450 pesos, with extra large is 460 pesos. If you want a text on the back, you pay an additional 50 peso charge. The Hands and Inclusion t-shirts black, the small size is 450 pesos, Medium is 460 pesos, large is 470 pesos, and Excel is 480 pesos with additional 50 pesos with tax at the back. For the Hands and Inclusion tote bags, these are designed by one of the members in Hands and Inclusion named Mary Jane Javier, my fellow Hands and Inclusion members, the one who designed these beautifully and colorfully designed tote bags. The small size is 220 pesos, medium is 240 pesos, there is 260 pesos, and additional 50 pesos if you want a text on the back. Look at these. These are the very colorful and beautifully designed hands and inclusion stickers. The wing could are yes is 250 pesos. The iniibi ko ang mga Pinoy EWDs or I love the Pinoy EWDs comes in four variants. Red, white, blue, yellow with 150 pesos. 150 pesos. Hand to inclusion, 150 pesos, but this one is maybe it's uh, out of stock. You may pay via GCash or PayMaya on this number flash in your screen 0917 701 9684. Again, that's 0917 701 9684. It was delivered to you via Talk Talk, Lala Move, Volgo Express, Grab, Mr. Speedy Philippines, and LBC. Talk Talk, Lala Move, GoGo -Go Express, Grab, and Mr. Speedy Philippines are available in areas under the NCR Plus bubble. NCR, Cavite, Rizal, Laguna, and Bulacan. And the rest of the country will deliver to you via LBC. Donations for Hands and Inclusion. Do you want to donate for Hands and Inclusion? Well, we can donate for Hands and Inclusion regardless. No matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. And you may do so via GCash and or PayMaya on this number flash in your screen. 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. And for those who donated, thank you for your continuous generosity and for your continuous support to Hands and Inclusion. On April 24, 2021, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., you'll be having another webinar of Hands and Inclusion. It's Quentong Autismo, in full 
this is in view of our uh, guiding statements about what Hanson Inclusion is, Hanson Inclusion will continue to share the stories of persons with disabilities and their advocates. And the essence of Quento Autismo is to tell the stories about persons with disabilities, including persons with autism and its advocates. You will see this this coming Saturday, April 24, 2021, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Later, at 5 p.m., just one and a half hours after my after our show, uh, Best Buddies Benil, led by the current chapter president, uh, Joella Laurito, together with the Center for Inclusive Education of Benil, Manila, led by Director, Director Nikki Templo Perez, in collaboration with the student emissaries and the Red Cross chapter of Benil, will have a will have a live, a Facebook live show on in celebration of the World Autism Acceptance Day. Um, Autism Acceptance Concert in partnership with One World School. This will be held today, later at 5 p.m. on Facebook Live. There will be special performances by Isa Madero, Joaquin Adelgar, and Aldic Pierre or and Paulo Lauron. And this is a joint also between Best Buddies Philippines led by the executive director, Michelle Aventajado, and uh, Benil, led by the current president, Brother Edmundo Dodo Fernandez, FSC, and Chancellor Robert Tang. You will see this later on the Best Bodies Benil Facebook page and also on Best Bodies Philippines. I hope I'll be there later after this show. Guys, are you ready to see the new Inclu Radio Facebook page? Are you ready, guys? Here we go. In the count of 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here we go, guys. Ta-da! This is the brand new Inclu Radio Facebook page. You want to like this and share this? You may like and share on our new Inco Radio Facebook page. Search Inco Radio PH. And for those who like this, thank you for your support to Inco Radio. On it, this April, we have other remaining activities after today uh, of Best Buddies Philippines, led by our executive director, Michelle Aventajado. On April 17, 2021, at 4 p.m. is the following lines creative journaling with Amos and Vico. 3 p.m. Wellness Wednesday on April 21. April 24 at 4 p.m. will be the blast from the past with the, with the Best Buddies chapter in the La Salle Bell in Muntin Lupa. And on April 28, 2021 at 7 p.m. is the Best Buddies Open House. Do you want to follow Hands and Inclusion on social media? Well, you may follow us on social media. You may like the Hands and Inclusion uh, Facebook page and Facebook. Follow us on Instagram, Hands and Inclusion PH, Kumu, HNI Philippines, and subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Hands and Inclusion Philippines. In addition, you might want to follow the new Inco Radio, Inco Sports, Inco Nihan, Online Shop, and Inco Gaming on Facebook and the Inclu Gaming YouTube channel. For those who did this, thank you for your continuous support to Hands in English. This year, Hands in Inclusion is celebrating its fourth anniversary. And the title and the theme for this year is the Bagong Tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. This year is a very important event in the history of our organization as Hands and Inclusion celebrates its fourth anniversary this year. Hands and Inclusion is a community of volunteers that involves in helping persons with disabilities and its advocates. We continue to share the stories of persons with disabilities 
and of course the in inclusive community. It was founded on March 8, 2017 by Roylan Marlang, a self-advocate with autism and a Benilgen alumni from Pasay City. This initiative was started as Inclusion in Action or IIA. And then later on June of 2017, IIA or Inclusion in Action became Hands and Inclusion. And that's the name that we're using in its present day. We also have a lot of events in the history of Hands and Inclusion for the past four years of its existence. First, we have the, uh, the Inclusion Ako campaign, the logo of Hands and Inclusion 2018, which depicts about Filipino values. The current logo of Hands and Inclusion was unveiled on the second anniversary of, in 2019. This was designed by my fellow Benil John named Mike Ambion. We also have the opening of the Hands and Inclusion online shop to the public on Facebook. We also have the relaunch of Hands and Inclusion during the seminar of the Association for Adults with Autism Philippines in Rotary Club of Makati. We also have the Alam Namin Po Yon, the first commercial of Hands and Inclusion. We also have the uh, recipients, the Benil. Uh, Deaf Bazaar participation of some members of Hands and Inclusion. We also have the gifts of, from the Hands and Inclusion Management to Yorme Iscomoreno of Manila. We also have the Makabago Otismo Segunawamput Isa Siglo. We also have the One Inclusion Nation song. We also have the Hemi Inclusion Stay at Home concert. We have interviews in the Inclusive Report last year in June and July. We also have the Inclunihan. We also have the, uh, the One Inclusion Forever commercial. We also have the, um, the another song, One Inclusion Forever, and the Tinig ng Mga, wal, na, ng mga, na, tinig ng mga Nawalan, Hands and Inclusion version. We also have the... Uh, the meaning of the design of the merchandise during the 500 year countdown. We also have the, um, uh, the, the webinars from Ateneo Speed in the Psychological Society of Assumption. We also have the, um, we also have the other events like the appearance of Dr. Francis de Malanta in the Connecting with Down Syndrome webinar and the Bawa Judgmental segment on Ikulaga on GMA Network. We also have the wedding of Val Baria and David Mitchell in South Carolina in America. We also have the um, other uh, events, the webinars this year, Autism Testimonials, Connecting with Down Syndrome, Usaping Inclusion para sa Kababaihan. And we also have another webinar on the 24th. We also had partners with other PWD organizations like Project Inclusion, Autism Strong, and the other PWD organizations. But we expect more of that. And the next event that we will never forget is the temporary closure last June 6, 2020. Despite all the achievements in Hands and Inclusion for the past four years, we continue to Serve our, to serve the people. Nakaranas kami ng pansamantalang pagsasara noong June 6, 2020, hindi kami nawala ng pag-asa at biyaya. Hands and Inclusion will continue to serve the people. Patuloy tayo magiging kod mga ka-HNI. We will continue to serve the nation and to serve the people in the world. And this is our battle cry. This is the new taste of One Inclusion Nation. Ito ang bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. And we continue to put God first, truth first, people first, and to promote our culture and our traditions in a civilized society. Ito ngayong, ngayong taon at ngayong ikaapat na anibersaryo, may bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. HNI, God first.
time for our uh, shout outs and uh, greetings to my fellow Hanson Inclusion members, to my family, to God, to my fellow members and best buddies, Philippines and Benil, and the, all the best buddies chapters throughout the world, my high school and college friends, good afternoon. Hi! And uh, to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. To John Red Hilario Mendoza, good afternoon. Thank you for watching. Uh, to, to those who are celebrating our, their birthdays today, we have uh, Chrissy, Christy Almario, Rosadel Reyes, Sam Astorga, and Eden Dairet. So these people's names have mentioned for their birthdays today. Happy birthday. To those who are celebrating their anniversaries, happy anniversary. And also, don't forget that tomorrow is Sunday as Hands and Inclusion continues to put God first, regardless of our faith. We need to observe that day as a day of rest and faith. And we need to attend religious services regardless of your faith. Because of this, your silence is highly appreciated. Okay, there's something special later at 7 p.m. It's a surprise, guys. You will see that later at 7 p.m. after the Best Buddies Vinyl event. Now, we only have one and a half hours left to go. Baka tapos ng ating programa. We will be shifting to Best Buddies Vinyl later at 5 p.m. For the World Autism Acceptance Day celebration for the mini concert and sharing the testimonials of persons with disabilities and the members of Best Buddies Renewed, led by our current chapter president, Joella Laurito, and Best Buddies Philippines, led by the executive director, Michelle Aventajado, and of course, One World School in Guadalupe, Makati City. I hope, I hope na nasa mabuting kalagayan ninyo, nasa mabuting kalagayan ninyo. You may use this, if not, you may use this, this time to improve your well-being as well. And also to improve your mental health as well. And also, uh, you guys are safe and healthy, so please continue to be safe and healthy. And continue to be active always in everything you do. Okay. That will be the time for the One Inclusion Live Weekend for Saturday, April 10,021. I will be back later at 7 p.m. after the Best Buddies Renewed activity. And again tomorrow for the One Inclusion Live Weekend Sunday edition and Editorial Sunday. On behalf of Inclo Radio and Hansen Inclusion Philippines, I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, saying thank you, good afternoon, may the Almighty God bless us all. Pagpalain na watayo ng kuong ikapan. Ngayong ikaapat na anniversaryo, may bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. We include our yes. We at Hands in Inclusion continues to include us and include each other. One Inclusion forever. H and I, God first. Thank you. Bye for now. Maraming salamat. Magandang hapon. Magkikita-kita tayo ulit mamaya. Alas 7 ng gabi at bukas. Goodbye and thank you. At mabuhay. Salamat po sa panunong ulit.